Well, today I'm going to try and finish the 12 volt conversion on the 240 utility. As you can see, my tightener's in bad shape. And to get the, at the tightener, i got to pull half the tractor apart, but whatever. The, uh, it's extended this long, and you see it's starting to rub on the... We're pretty close to rub on the rod pipe, so that's got to be dealt with. Another homemade side, but taking it off does help. I'm going to put a little weasel pith on these because the, uh, they're corroded. Or they're rusty. I tried not to let them turn. Use the box. Yeah. Yeah. This one's going to come. I don't know if this is a 6 volt, 12, or 12 volt generator. I think it's probably 6 volt, but it's been damaged. I'll show you what happened to it. And I had a generator off my, uh, 560 that was 12 volt, that's the incorrect one for it, the terminals are up, so 240 is a good place to put it. No, this is, I uh, yeah, tried not to twist the wire off and see if I could help it. Then I break the terminal a well, I guess, but it's just a parts generator anyways. I'll try this. Figured that would be a better chance than turn it by hand, actually. And I was right. The number 10 terminals on this, which is annoying. As they should have their number 12 studs is what these are. They're not 10s. And the terminals don't fit over them well. The wiring doesn't look bad on this, so I'm going to leave it alone. Here's the old generator, but you see they had to fix this. They welded a piece to it because the ends broke off. So there you go. I got to fix it. I got to change this mess here. And to do that, I'm going to have to pull the fan. These blades on this fan are not equally spaced. This is stuck pretty good, so I just tried to drive it loose. There it is. Sometimes it takes just a little bit of persuasion. This makes it, this makes this job a little easier.
This belt's actually not that bad. It looks worse than it is. It looks like a 3Z belt. It's not an E belt. It's, uh, it's a little deeper in here and it's a slightly narrower than an E belt, I think. So I think it's a 3Z what's in it. That made that job easier. And this job possible. Oop, I need 9 sixteenths in there. been a day or two since that's been loosened up. Oh! I have to get a bigger ratchet. I hate to do that. I don't want to twist it off either. Ugh. Well, that's not good. I twist the bolt off, that's really not good. Use the half inch drive ratchet, but I'm not overly comfortable with that. Three eighths drive ratchet should be plenty good enough to take out a three eighths bolt, it really should. I'm starting to realize that this is why this is fixed the way it was. I don't like it, but I think I better leave that alone. Because if I twist that off, I gotta pull everything apart and drill it out. So I better not do that. Well, I've got to put it back together the way it was. I don't want to. I'm not taking this lightly. I just think I'm going to twist this bolt off and then what do I do? i got to pull the whole thing apart. And if I could avoid that way, wouldn't I? So I'm going to just put it back the way it was. That's all you can do sometimes. The belt was tight, it would charge, it wasn't, it's not flopping around. Yeah, I'll, I'll put her back together the way it was. Okay, now I'll put the other generator on. Gonna make sure I put some of this stuff on, because I like it. Messy stuff, but it sure saves a lot of fighting in the, when you have to do it again. This generator fits too, that's what I like about these. You don't know, these are kind of the same thing as what was on it, so they fit pretty good. It's a 12 volt version of the same thing. Sometimes they just want to be a tad miserable. These, the smaller the tractor, the harder they are to work on. I haven't even revealed some of my favorite tractors on my channel yet, but it's coming. And they're easier to work on, they're well built. That of course they're red power, but they're very unfamiliar to most of my viewers actually. WD9, Super WD9, 600 and 650, those are my favorites. 
I haven't put much on. I haven't put much of them on my channel. Just the 650 gases all I've played so far. A little bit of it, but more is coming. I can assure you. I need to get a short socket for my ratchet. Okay, generator's on. Okay, now for the regulator. I got unhooked the battery, which I got the connection loose. Think of this. Yeah, I think I can get the wires off first before pulling the regulator. It doesn't. I don't think it got enough room to do it any other way. So pull the wires off. Okay, here's the old regulator off. Here you go, I don't know if you can read this, but it says 12 volts positive or negative ground. So how I, whether I go positive or negative ground, I can, uh, it depends on how I hook the battery up and then I polarize the generator for either. Okay, this, uh, this regulator's got the terminal behind, which is a pain in the ass, but... It's doable. I gotta hook it up. I gotta hook my uh, armature terminal up first if that's the case. Or since that's the case, I should say. Got a little opera going. Got coyotes right close. I think I might go without this thing here on here. Might be better. This is gonna be pain. The wiring harness is not lo really long enough for this style of regulator. This is going to be a real fun thing to hook up, but it's doable. The blue wire goes to the to the armature wire on the where gen wire is where, where gen terminal goes is where it is on the regulator. It says D N on it. Some days I wonder about manufacturers for doing things so bloody ass backwards. How easy would it be to put that on the other side, poke it out sideways like the original was. And a lot of them are like the original was. There, now that the miser's done, the rest should be easy. This is the armature ter terminal. I did the worst first to so do. I could actually put this on to hook up, up the rest. They don't think it'll hurt anything. A tiny bit of anti seize on. This stuff really helps. I use it on just about everything, and then you don't have to fight to get it apart. The more times I use anti seize, the easier it is on me next time I gotta do something. Uh, 
That wire being like that makes it too long and that doesn't help either. I think my big mitt did do the job. I'm right in your road, I know. Sometimes I have to get in your face to get her done. This is probably tightening them enough that I can put out pretty good on this screwdriver handle. And they're just quarter inch bolts after all, they're not big. The X terminal up to the feet, I gotta do the hook up the generator first, I think it'd be easiest. This is the F terminal. Or and matches with the field terminal on the generator and the wire used on international is always yellow. When they color code them, the gen, oh, the, the, the gen wire is blue and the field wire is, is uh, yellow. And here's the wire right here. Sometimes working in tight spots can make, it make you clutch. Next I get hooked up is the big wire, that's the battery wire that goes to the ammeter. That's the bigger wire, that's the big wire, big black wire. Normally this one faded, it looks kind of green, but they're black out of the box. That's what the factory color is. L terminal, which is a green wire, is faded into grayish green. It's not. They're they're light green from the factory. Is what they are. See there, all the regulators hooked up. Now let's bring stuff out and I'll polarize the generator and we can try her. Okay, there again, this is negative ground, and of course, with that concealed terminal, I can't do the traditional way of polarizing, so it'll be the same as the 560. I'll hook this up to the battery on the positive side, and then just touch your armature terminal. There, generator is polarized to the negative ground. Just that simple. Now I'll start this thing. My generator is charging. Now because I, it shows it's discharging, because, and only because that, that, that it's negative ground now, and, we, and the, it, it causes the electricity to flow backwards going to positive ground. So that, there you go. So God bless. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.